Hello all. Uh, so today's uh, power up session is about saving images to SharePoint list. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the camera control, click an image and they save it to a SharePoint list. Also I will show you how you can fetch the image from the SharePoint list. Okay. So for that first I need to go to insert and I need to take the camera control. So I will take the camera control okay and yeah so currently it will not work here so that's fine okay and after taking the camera control I will take a text box and I will also take a button okay so I have taken a text box and I have taken a button I'll just name the text to upload Okay, and after doing this, I will just go to view and I'll show you I have added a data source called show attachments and this data source contains two columns, title column and image data column. Now the image data column is a multi-line text column and it's a plain text column. Okay, so now remember to choose a plain text column, not the rich text one. Okay. So now I go here. Okay, I just go here. Okay. Now this is the camera control, and we have an on select property. So on select property, I will change to something called as capture. So what I basically want to do is, uh, once a user clicks a picture, I want to store the picture in collection and then update it to the SharePoint list. Okay, for that I have to use a function called as clear collect. Okay, and I'll give a name. So I'm, I'll give, give a name as camera image. And here I will uh, store the image. So camera one dot photo. That's it. Done. Okay, so now you have stored the image. Now you need to go to the upload button and save the image right so you need a path function you have to mention the name of the uh, data source the default list and then the columns you need to update right so first column is a title column where I will give the text input one dot text okay and then I will mention the image data column which is a multi-line text column and here since you remember we stored the information in a collection right and a collection is like an array one two three four so i need only the first element right so i'll select first camera uh, first item from the collection and i want the url okay that's it so once this is done i am going to save this uh, particular app okay once i save the app i am going to publish it okay so i am going to publish this app so once i publish this app this app will be available in my mobile and i will not be able to share my screen but what i'll show you <coughs> So let's, let me just open this app in my mobile and yeah so now the app is opening okay so I will just take a screenshot of the content so I'll just mention here as my photo okay and i will take the photo and now i have taken the photo and 
the photo has been saved to the SharePoint list, but the data is in base64 format. So in order to see the value, what you can do is you can go to insert, you can go to media and you can go to image. So now uh, let's go here. Okay. And uh, yeah. So here basically we will fetch the image. Now how will you fetch that image? So for fetching that image, uh, it's very easy. Okay. So if it had been, see now there can be multiple items, right? So for fetching one particular item, you can use a filter condition. And so what I'll use lookup. So lookup is like, uh, you know, it gets the first row basically and the list name is show attachments okay and where title is equal to my photo so i'll mention here as my photo comma the name of the column so it will get the first column first row data the mentioned column and the first row data single value basically so yeah so it is fetching as you can see the progress here yeah so this was the screenshot which i clicked and now you can see this value here okay so in this way uh, you can save an image to a sharepoint disk and get back the image also what other things which you can do is that you can also use a gallery control okay okay so yeah this is the gallery control i'll just change this data says to this one okay and i'll just put this here okay and when you go to edit image property you have to mention the image data column <laughs> image mm. Just a second, okay. Yeah. Titan, what happened here? Dot Titan, something wrong. So let's check this out. Okay, yeah. So I have to change the data source. Okay, so now I have changed the data source. Now, what I have to mention here is image data so now you can see the image has come here also okay now it may happen that you may want to uh, see that image in sharepoint as well so for doing that what you have to do you have to go to uh, power apps you have to go to customize forms once you go to customize forms uh, the power apps will op the form will be basically opening okay so let it first open i'm waiting it for it to open okay yeah so by default how it will look so by default it will look something like this okay okay so now what i want to change is this right i want to bring back the image so for doing that you have to just go to the card you have to unlock it okay once you unlock it please delete this uh, image data 
and just increase the size and you can go to insert you can go to media and add the image and I'll just mention here parent dot default that's it once this is done just save it and you add it so I'll just show you here when I click on my photo I basically see the image it takes time to load so yeah you can see the image right so yeah this way you can save images to a SharePoint disk you can show images in a web application as well as you can show the images in power apps if you have any questions or queries you can write in the comment section and if you like my video you like it and you can subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you